Harry Philo was a teacher and friend to thousands of trial lawyers and a prolific and innovative legal author. Harry was a railroad worker in Albany focused on labor organizing. He moved to Detroit in 1953, continuing in labor organizing, but now in the auto industry. He worked at the Ford Rouge plant and completed his law school education, graduating from the Detroit College of Law in 1959. He joined the interracial Goodman Law Firm as a partner, but interrupted his legal career briefly for what ultimately proved to be an unsuccessful run for president of UAW Local 600 in 1961 on a diverse slate of candidates formed to challenge an all-white slate. During the Freedom Summer of 1964, Harry fought for civil rights in the South, volunteering with his partners and other lawyers from the National Lawyers Guild to provide free legal services and to assist with voter registration efforts in Mississippi. Harry also began another career as an author, writing The Lawyer's Desk Reference, which has enjoyed 10 editions and is an essential part of every trial lawyer's library. After a brief stint with a law firm in Muskegon, he returned to Detroit in 1968 to start his own firm. Philo Maki et al. became known as the most diverse, hippest, radical law firm, protecting the rights of the injured through many types of tort liability litigation and the oppressed through political activism and legal redress. Throughout his career, Harry shared with a younger generation of attorneys his philosophies of progressive change and safety advocacy through lectures, articles, seminars, and individual mentoring. He became nationally recognized as a trial lawyer, accepting leadership roles in many organizations, including a term as president of the Association of Trial Lawyers of America from 1980 to 1981. Harry retired from the practice of law in 2000 to return to upstate New York with his wife, Jean, but will forever be known as a lawyer on the side of the people. He always said, never let us forget that the law is never settled until it is settled right. It is never right until it is just and it is never just until it serves society to the fullest. Harry passed away on Memorial Day, May 28, 2012, at his home in Queensbury, New York.